Because they were greedy, excessively greedy, yada, 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 yada. Dumping on Wall Street again because it makes populist sense to do so. He just started commenting on it when we... In fact, our microphones are there. Can we Can we jip Obama ripping into AIG? I just want to hear... Yeah, let's... I want to hear how American he does it. taxpayers help. Yay! Obama, ladies, the President Barack Obama ripping into AIG. Yes! Right on, right on, right on, right on, right on. I want everybody to be clear that Secretary Geithner has been on the case. He's working to resolve this matter with the new CEO, oh. Edward Liddy, oh, yeah. who, by the way, uh, everybody needs to understand, came on board after the contracts that led to these bonuses. Oh, yeah, it's a Democrat, a good Democrat. Year. Absolutely. Yes, yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. But great I think CEO. Mr. Liddy and certainly uh, everybody involved needs yes. to understand this is not just a matter of dollars and cents, it's about well, our fundamental values. Right. Exactly. All across the country, pe- there mm-hmm. are people who are working hard and meeting their responsibilities every single day. And some Without aren't. We're paying for them. Government bailouts or multi-million dollar bonuses. You've got a bunch of small business people here who are struggling just to keep their credit line open. They are foregoing pay. Uh, as well, one bail of them out. entrepreneurs uh, talked about, they are bail uh, them out. in some cases mortgaging their homes and well, doing a whole host of things. Why are you letting them suffer? Uh, bail them out. To keep things afloat. Bail out AIG. All they ask is that everyone from Main Street to Wall Street to Washington play by the same rules. Bail them out then. That is an ethic that we have to demand. Bail them out. And what this situation also underscores is the need for overall financial regulatory reform. <laughs> so we don't find yeah. ourselves in this position again. Bail them out. And for some form of resolution mechanism in dealing with troubled financial institutions so that we've got greater authority to protect American taxpayers and our financial system in cases such as this. You mean you know, we already have uh, uh, resolution authority. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm... <laughs> How you Choked feel? Up with anger here. <laughs> Teleprompter said cough. Uh, we always already have some of that resolution authority when it comes to a, a traditional bank. But when you start getting into AIGs and some of these other operations, we bailed them out. Have a whole bunch of different financial instruments, uh, then we don't have all the fi- uh, regulatory. Uh, power that we need. And this is you, something that I expect to work with Congress uh, to deal with uh, in the weeks and months to all come. All right. Bail them out, though. Well, uh, we're here today to talk about how my administration can help the millions of small businesses bearing the brunt of this. All right. That's crisis. it. So he really didn't do much except praise the current AIG CEO. He made it a point that the current CEO is the guy who passed out the bonuses. A guy named Liddy, Edward Liddy, no relation to Scooter. This guy passes out the bonuses because of contracts at AIG, and he comes in for praise from Obama. Now, what does that tell you? And Obama made the point, hey, uh, he came in here long after all this stuff started. He came out, he didn't have anything to do with (coughs) it. Democrat. It means Liddy's a Democrat. 